My, my comments weren't about jade to start with. They're about the society that breeds jade. I mean, my, my remarks, when I say paltry and wretched, were about the society that produces jade, the sink estates, the drugs, that sort of thing, and then the media. And that was my, I wrote this piece of the Radio Times, which might be a clue. And my, the media are my particular target because I, I hate the kind of show that exploit people like Jade Goody, who are incapable of looking after themselves in that sense and who, of course, would grasp any opportunity to get out of the life they've, they've led before. It's then a question of what you do with them. And when you look at what the media did to Jade Goody before she died, big, fat, ugly slapper, face like a pig, I didn't say that. The media said that, and worse too. And then you see all this sort of these tears about when she dies. You begin to think there's something wrong here, actually. And I dislike the kind of programs like Big Brother and things like that that exploit that kind of person. I mean, I think of it as, as the old-fashioned thing where people used to go down to see the lunatics in Bedlam. You know, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go and see the Elephant Man. I wouldn't pay to see the Bearded Lady. So why would you expect me to watch a program which cynically exploits something like Jay Goody? And what was interesting about Jay Goody was this, was that her life was scripted. From the very moment she went in the house, it was scripted. Carefully plotted confrontation so we could get maximum hurt, in a sense, to her, the way the media would react. And the only time she became this joke figure, this hated figure, the only time she didn't write the script was when she got cancer. And it was only then you saw the possibility of Jay Goody. That wasn't scripted. And there was something admirable about the way she faced it. That's undeniable. But that was the only time somebody else wasn't exploiting her. And I found that very interesting. So we should look very carefully at what we think is entertainment. I mean, I won't watch Big Brother. I have watched Big Brother. And I thought at the end of it, I felt defiled. I thought, what am I watching here? What am I, it was under the microscope. What kind of people? And what was it doing to them?